Capital gains taxation is also proposed to be hugely simplified. Short-term gains on certain financial assets shall henceforth attract a tax rate of 20%, while that on all other financial assets and all non-financial assets shall continue to attract the applicable tax rate. Long-term gains on all financial and non-financial assets, on the other hand, will attract a tax rate of 12.5%. For the benefit of the lower and the middle income classes, I propose, the, I propose to increase the limit of exemption of capital gains on certain financial assets to 1.25 lakh rupees per year. Listed financial assets held for more than a year will be classified as long-term, while unlisted financial assets and all non-financial assets will have to be held for at least two years to be classified as long-term. Unlisted bonds and debentures, debt mutual funds, and market-linked debentures, irrespective of holding period, however, will attract tax on capital gains at applicable rates. Taxpayer services. All the major taxpayer services under GST and most services under customs and income tax have been digitalized. All remaining services of customs and income tax, including rectification and order giving effect to appellate orders, shall be digitalized and made paperless over the next two years. Litigation and appeals. While our concerted efforts to reduce pendency of appeals at various appellate fora are beginning to show good results, it will continue